Now we can go into this cell and let's insert that image again. Insert image and we want to browse for a file. We choose Brian 2. So we'll say picture of Brian and we hit OK. Now when we were at the last step I'll just have to go through that process. I'm not going to insert an image. We choose the file Brian 2 and you'll see that the width is 109 so that's the exact width of the picture so I'm not going to insert it so that's 109 I can go to my table and let me right click I'm in this cell let me right click table cell properties and I want to make this cell a width of 109 and I hit apply and OK and now I just put my picture in its nice little cell by itself and now I could type in some text over here type text here and if I wanted to I could center that text and let's center the whole table table cell properties we go to the table table alignment center hit OK now it's centered this whole table I'll delete this image now because now I can type a bunch of text here and I've got my picture nicely separated off to the side so I can control how much space between the picture and the text so it's generally a good idea to make a table that way you can also insert an image let me insert it again choose the file Brian 2 and alternate text will be again picture of Brian so we hit OK now you can also type and here's what happens okay, I'm just gonna keep copying it so you can see I'm gonna copy and then I'm going to paste right click and then you can right click and hit paste right click and hit paste and you see what's happening it's skipping where this image is but I can format the image by right clicking on it and I can go to image properties and if I go to appearance it'll say align text to image and here it's at the bottom I want to say wrap to the right and here's what happens when I wrap the text to the right I can have it go right next to let me keep hitting paste and if I hit control and V at the same time it lets me paste so I'm just gonna do that so there it's wrapped to the right. Now I can also go and take the image, make sure the image is highlighted, go up here and center that image. And it's not letting me center it, but will let me write while well, it's doing it to the text now. So if I were to center that image, I can't move the image. So you have to take the image and align it first before you start typing. And then you can also play with the formatting so we right click go to image properties go to appearance and that was wrapped to the right let's wrap it to the left and hit OK and now it puts the text on the other side and we can click on the image and go to the properties and we can try something else it'll say in the center we'll do this and so you can see what happens more it, it takes text and puts it in the center of the image and I can type some more in here so it, it's kinda of funky so I think there's better control when you type right here when you type uh, in the table because it looks nice and then you can format this however you like 
you can right align that you can justify it justifying it's nice because it kind of spreads it out sometimes it depends uh, if you want to justify it or not and you can left align things like that so that's the two ways to insert an image and just keep in mind that you can insert images into tables and you definitely want to do that and let me just put this well I'll leave him over here on the right 